Okay, I had another thought. A few of them. Artists are asking themselves, including me, given the current uh, genocidal atrocity happening, how should we respond? How can we respond? Now, there's a couple, I had a few thoughts uh, 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 about that question. Um, one is war has been going on for a long time. So the question maybe shouldn't be how should we respond right now, but how should we respond in perpetuity? How should we have been responding um, before the current uh, atrocity went viral? And the second thought along these lines is that I think might be helpful because it's helpful to me is to separate out for myself my role as citizen and my role as artist. As citizen, we each determine according to our conscience the best way to respond to what's going on in the political landscape. All kinds of ideologies about how social change happens and that's up to each citizen to determine for themselves. Each That's up to citizens to determine for themselves uh, how they want to respond. Artists, however, and we are both, we can be both, they don't have to be the same thing. If we can unblend these roles, then we can free our art up to bring in influence that is even out of our own control, that comes from some other place that may not be uh, hindered by epistemological blindness. That is what we can know or the limits of what we can know based on our existence in this particular time and place. There may be some value that art can bring when we free it from the responsibility of operating as citizen. Thinking about this for myself, looking back on the art that I've made, wondering how has my art been responding to the atrocity of Western civilization? Well, it's not, I don't have to look very hard because my experience of life, even when the genocide that's happening is not brought into my physiology through my phone, my physiology is still responding to the horror of animals dying, people dying, this, this state of horror, grief, impotent rage, um, desolation, alienation is never far from my experience on the daily. And so looking back at my art, it has always been responding to this, this current situation. What has been my response? Because it tells me something about where my, where my power is, maybe. And my work, it seems, something that ties it all together, has always been some kind of like expression of um, a refusal to be consoled by the false comforts offered by the system. I have a refusal to take the bribe in terms of false meaning, false comfort, false I ideals, false goals, fake dopamine hits. A refusal to be consoled and also a refusal to be broken. There's a trickster energy, I think, that art can bring that, is, that only art can bring. That's not about fixing anything, but it's kind of like the wild card energy that can upend the whole game. And I think that's valuable in a way that activism, good citizenship isn't. Okay, that was my thought. I hope it helps.